here's another quick video about the best way to learn POSIX shell. Uh, and I, I'm glad somebody asked this because we've been talking about bash today. Again, I've been doing a lot of bash, but, and my position has changed on this. So I need a new video. Uh, once upon a time, I used to think you should learn uh, POSIX first. So I, first of all, uh, first of all, I no longer uh, believe you should first learn POSIX shell. Uh, and the reason for this is for there uh, for the following reasons. How about that? <laughs> so the first one is shell check exists. Uh, okay. Uh, number two, bash is the default. Right. Uh, on all systems that matter. <laughs> Yes, I'm implying something about Mac by saying that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, it's it's not Ash. I mean, you know, that's not completely true. On on most server Linux systems, uh, and then uh, when I need POSIX. I can uh, safeguard myself, and when it says so when I need POSIX, I can check. So, um, so where's the best way to learn it? There are a number of places to learn it. One of them is the uh, Bash Bible, but this I don't I don't I haven't read the whole thing. I really really like Damon's stuff. Uh, Dylan, sorry, Dylan's stuff. And I, I love his writing style and everything. Lean Pub Bash, it looks like. This is a, a really good resource so far. Now, I have not read a lot about that resource, so don't judge me on that. Um, I might come back and hate it, and if so, I'll let you know why. Uh, but if I remember right, he has one of these for... Uh, for shell too, uh, if I remember right, com is it shell? Maybe not. Interested in this book, the shell. Oh, this is different. This is by. Oh, that's interesting. That's by Tony Riches. Didn't even know that book existed. I don't. I don't even know if that's a book that I would read. But anyway, the the other one resource I want to talk about, because we only have six minutes left, I'm going to give you all these resources. Um, a, a number of these resources actually are listed under under my old site, uh, .gg Langbash. This is going to be around for a while, but eventually it'll go away. If if you go there, you can read more about my what I say to do with, with Bash. But rbx to gg links... I'm uh, sorry, laying a bash. Uh, that will tell you about how to learn bash and where to go. It's actually got a kind of a survival guide there. I don't remember if I put sh here. Nope. Did I do? Did I do POSIX? Nope. How about POSIX? Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay. So the other resource that I was going to tell you about, though, it, it's still a bash resource, is uh, learning the what is it? Learning the Linux. What is it called? Uh, learning the, the Linux command line by William Schatz. I love this book, even though it's dated. It's one of the only books that takes you all the way through, but it's for Bash. This isn't for POSIX, right? There is a really great POSIX, uh, POSIX shell scripting. I'm going to try to find the other reference to this because I haven't seen it yet and I heard it's a good one to go to. If anybody else out there in, in Twitch land has a reference they want to recommend, please let me know. Um, yeah, okay, so let's do this. Um, there it is. Pure SH Bible. That's the one. Let's go here. I, I wonder if he has a link to it. It's, yeah, but this is, yeah, 
anyway and there are a lot of idioms in here that are really valuable like things that you wouldn't know like matching substrings inside of inside of a string using the case statement which, which is not intuitive at all so those are all the kind of thing that you might want to to get with shell uh, a collection of pure bash alternatives pure sh bible where is the link to the actual I guess this must be it. I thought maybe there was something else here. I guess not. So we're going to go ahead and put that copy in there. So that's that's another one. What else we got? We got three minutes left. There is a huge uh, POSIX shell like wiki out there that usually pops up in research in, in, in results when you look for it. Um, yeah, the bash guide. That's a good one too. I hadn't heard that one. Uh, confident link address. So, you know, the problem is, is it like, should you use learn bash or should you learn shell, POSIX shell? One of the hardest things about that is distinguishing between the two. And that's where shell check is your absolute bestest friend. Seriously, just write code and look it up online and then look it up in shell check. And one of the things too, when you're doing this stuff, uh, just, I'm going to just put this, uh, as a public service in there, PSA, uh, you do not need, uh, said and awk and TR as much as you think. Um, you know why? Because why? Because why? Because even POSIX shell has parameter expansion. True. I didn't find that out until last year. I had allowed myself to do parameter expansion in Bass, Bash, and and <laughs> Pearl's awesome too. I love Pearl. Uh, so where's my shell check reference? Oh, we only have one minute left. Shell check. You got to have shell check. You cannot code without shell check, people. Don't even try it. It's so good, and the wiki's good, too. What I might recommend is that you actually go read the wiki. Uh, it's, it's so well done. I mean, it's just so well done. It's just amazing. It, it's done in Haskell, too, so which means it's just got kick-ass parsing. It's really fast and everything. It's just so, so amazing. So make sure you go check out Shellcheck. I think, I think writing code that you want and giving yourself sort of, you know, challenges and then checking with shell check is hands down the best way to learn. If you've never learned how to code at all, then that might be a little bit tougher to do. Uh, I am going to put, the, you know, there's the boost out there. I don't know what day of the boost it is, but the 2021 boost, we have a, like four or five days where we just do POSIX shell scripting. That's it. We do nothing more than POSIX shell. And... Um, I'm going to redo that section of the boost over the next year uh, to be just Bash. I'm only going to teach Bash from now on. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to teach POSIX at all, because I think it's more important for people to learn Bash because of all its power and for the purpose of learning a shell language in the first place. If you're being forced to write a POSIX shell script, there's usually a good reason, and that's usually not that common. Uh, usually, you are being uh, forced uh, to do bash, to do to do POSIX, uh, not the norm. Okay, so if you're being told like I was at IBM that thou shalt write code that's going to run on AX and Solaris and everything else, then learn to write POSIX and learn shell check. Uh, otherwise, learn bash. Just learn bash. It's so much more powerful and safer. I know this is going to sound crazy with shell check and the uh, shell, shell check and everything else that, uh, that is in bash's history. But it is easier to write safe code in Bash than it is in POSIX shell. It's much, much safer. So learn Bash first. It's the reason I'm going to teach Bash first from now on. And if you want to, you know, stay tuned for those videos. We'll put that into a series at some point. When I say put it into a series, I don't mean playlist. It'll probably be like a, a Zettelcast and readme.md file that you just click on and it'll take you to all the videos that put together all of the shell stuff. But over time, this video will probably become a part of that of that series as well. Uh, I think Bash is one of the most important, if not the most important language people should learn. And that is a very, very unpopular opinion. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs>